Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. Today we're gonna go ahead and take an up close look and dive into an in-depth review on this specific set right here. As you can see, this is going to be a Hummingbird Rotary Tattoo Machine from Bronk. And as you can see, this is going to be an assortment of Big Wasp Needle Cartridges right here. These are going to be the Purple Series. I do also want to take some time to show you everything up close. We're gonna go ahead and go over the specs and cosmetics. So should you have any questions throughout this entire video, please feel free to drop it in the comments below and I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I will also leave links below in the description so you can check this out on your red. With that being said, let's just dive straight on into this. I would personally like to begin with the Big Wasp cartridges right here. So these are the many different types of needles that are available for this specific uh, Big Wasp model right here. And again, these are going to be the purple. And I know the sticker up here says three round liner. However, this is an assortment. Allow me to show you here. So I'll pull out some right here. As you can see, this one is going to be a double zero one round liner, which is awesome because I've always wanted to try out a one round liner. I never have. So I will go ahead and try that out in this video with you all maybe. And as you can see here, these are the purple cartridges. I will all actually leave a couple of them out. Let me show you the packaging here. I'm gonna take one of these so we can check these out up close. I'm going to take one of these double zero one round liners as well. And let's see the other here, others that are available to us. So as you can see, we have a double zero five round liner as well. I'm gonna take one of those. And then these right here are also 11s, I believe that's what these were. Actually, no, these were standard. These are double zero. So we're gonna try these out as well. And this is a 15 round bag. So as you can see though, um, the point is there is an assortment here of different needles that we are going to use. So I'm just gonna kind of just take one of every so that way I can check them out. And then they go up to 25 round right here that I have, 25 mag. Get that one out. What is this one here? This is going to be a seven round shader standard. So that's pretty much almost every single different type of assortment that comes within this packaging here. So as you can see though, there is a variety here and I'm really um, excited for those one round lighters. So with that being said, allow me to package these back up and let's get into the tattoo machine and then I will actually show you the needles up close as well along the way. Let me actually just show you one of these needles here up close. Let me show you the biggest mag that I had here. I believe it's going to be the 25. Uh, bear with me. It's going to be this one. So let's just take a look at the Big Wasp purple needles up close. So at first glance, these look of a good quality. I love the build. I mean, it is like a purple, but still super transparent as you can see. And on top of that, I was wondering if this was going to be a more harder silicone, you know, on, on a, I guess has a harder push, but it does. And it's actually really soft as well. So I'm excited to try these out, but this is the purple needle up close. Allow me to zoom in here. So you can see the mag, it's a straight mag there as you see. And this is the needle cartridge up close here. Very, very nice though. Actually, let me do the same thing with the one round liner as well. So that way we can take an up close look at that and really get an idea of that needle there. So this one is going to be the double zero one round liner. As you can see, it is a long taper as well. So as you can see though, they all have the same build all the way around, full 360, as well as the round mag, all the way around the same build. As you can see, it has little um, grips right here. Let me actually zoom in though on this one so we can take an up close look at that needle. So this is the one round liner. I wouldn't recommend using this needle if you have very little experience with smaller needles as this can do a lot of damage right here. But as you see, it is just one solid needle there. 
Okay, so here is the tattoo machine. Let's go ahead and just show the box real quick. It's a very straightforward box. As you can see, it has a bronc there. It is a hummingbird rotary. Let's dive into its contents here. So as you can see, we are greeted with a foam and product warranty card. Fill out all of your information here accordingly, which is great. And these are the product instructions, as you can see right here. So it does look as though it's going to be wireless battery operated and as well as we have an RCA connector. So in my opinion, that's amazing when the machines are truly wireless, but they also come with an RCA connector. I think that's awesome. So those are the instructions. Feel free to pause this as well. I'm going to go ahead and just place these over to the side. Let's get this foam out the way. As you can see, we have the blue series or the blue uh, band of machine right here as stated on the box. And it has a bit of weight to it. The top part right here feels a bit lighter. I'm assuming this is gonna be where the battery goes. Yeah, this part's lighter right now and I'm assuming because there's no battery inside. So as you can see, it's a very standard connecting port there, very straightforward. And then what you're gonna do is unscrew this top part right here. And then we would put a battery in there as you can see. And I believe the batteries are gonna be in that accessory box down below. Let's go ahead and place this on over to the side. I'm gonna move this as well. well. Actually, let me show you this up close in its entirety real quick. So as you see, putting it on and taking it off is no problem at all. Very simple, very easy to use. This is the machine though in its entirety. Very nice and straightforward machine here. Power up and down, as you see, it has a little screen right there. And if I'm correct, it is click grip as you hear. Very easy to remove the grip for sterilization. I believe you can autoclave this as well. So you can just put this in a pouch and then put it into your autoclave machine. However you do that on your end. And you can wipe this down with like opticide, put some opticide in there and just make sure you're real mindful of cleaning in there as well. Other than that, it looks very easy to sterilize. You wouldn't want to put this into an autoclave because we could damage some components inside. As if I'm correct, there's going to be electrical components that live right here. So you would simply want to wipe all of this part down of the tattoo machine. Again, with like some opticide wipes, autoclave this as well right here. But overall right now, it is the a very standard approach. I haven't really seen where we have to put in a battery. So that's a bit different. So let me actually look into the accessory pack here that it comes with. As you can see, it kind of tells you the contents already. So we get the data line, we get a battery charger, a battery two, and then we get an RCA converter head. So let's pull this out here and let's confirm what's in the packaging here. So here is the RCA converter head. We'll look at that shortly. So here is the battery charger. And there's still a little bit of contents in there. We're gonna look at those here shortly. So we have the battery charger right here. And we also have the batteries right here, as you can see. So this is what's gonna go into that part of the tattoo machine. And then if you wanted to charge them, I'm pretty sure it's very straightforward. You will put them on here. It tells you how to do so. Follow the instructions there. Just like that. Just like that. Make sure it's lined up correctly though. Make sure it's not like that. Make sure that it's on there correctly like so. Make sure it's in the concave. So we got that there. Let me put this to the side and let me confirm what else was in here. So we have some O-rings and then we have the charging cable that's going to go into the top right here, as you see. So that is a very straightforward setup. It's not really much, you know, um, it may seem complicated to some, but it's actually very straightforward and kind of user friendly once you figure out where it goes, well, I mean, what goes where. Let's actually take a look at the RCA connector here. And again, I feel like this is important for um, wireless machines to include because if the batteries do happen to die and or go bad, you can still always hook it up to a wireless power supply that you have like a third party, or you could just put in a standard power supply with the RCA cord. Let's actually put that onto the machine just to see how big the machine is with the RCA connector. 
So as you can see though, the machine is tremendously smaller. I'm used to this size machine right here. This right here is really, really close to home in my opinion. Um, overall though, my first impressions of the machine, it seems like a very straightforward, simplistic and solid build. Needle adjustment may be easy and we are gonna try that here shortly as well. Um, but overall though, it does seem like a very good solid machine especially for the price we are going to get into the performance here let me get into setting up the battery though setting up the battery is going to be very very straightforward so i'm going to simply take this top part off like so i'm going to grab one of the batteries here put this one away and then I'm going to place this in there. Now for the batteries, the instructions are right here as it follows. So as you can see, it's telling you negative on top, positive on bottom, exactly the way that I'm holding it here. So you're gonna wanna have the point facing down to my understanding, place it in like so. And then from here, you're gonna wanna get this top part and then just simply screw it on. And once you put the battery in there, it does have a bit more weight. Without the battery, it's very, very light. Let me take the RCA converter off and then we're gonna switch back to the wireless battery. As you can see, I'm doing this all on the fly, no issues, very, very easy stuff here. Turn it on. And we're good to go, as you can see. I know it looks like on the screen that it's flickering or doing that, but it's actually not doing that. I don't know why the screen's picking it up that way. It's actually just a solid light there. And in terms of voltage, how high it goes, let's check the highest voltage range. Let's see if it tells us here. So the highest voltage that we can go up to is 11 volts. Let's check the lowest voltage range. And four volts is the lowest range that we can go. So it's four through 11, which is perfect. I typically like to stipple around five. Um, I like to line now around eight volts, so that's great. Let me place in a needle just to see and hear and feel how it runs with the needle cartridge. We're going to be using the purple needles. So that's ultra smooth right there. That's very, very smooth. Wrapping the machine is also going to be super, super simple. There's not really going to be much to that either. But as you can see, though, it's very straightforward. And then adjusting needle depth is not hard at all either, as you can see. Very simple, very straightforward. Once you click where you want to be, stays locked right in. So let's get into wrapping and performance of the tattoo machine. Also, before we do that, it's very low vibration. There's not very um, much vibration at all. Very, very low, consistent. has a timer there on the interface, the voltage and the battery. At first impressions, very nice tattoo machine. Let me actually get into the wrapping and this test performance out as well right here in this video. Actually, I know some people are asking if it works with a third party wireless power supply. I'm sure some of you may have like some external batteries. If the RCA connector works, let me just show you that as it'll only take less than a minute to do that. Here is an external battery. You can get this on Amazon. And as you see, right away it's working. So you can use an external uh, battery that you may have with the RCA connector and it'll still work just the same. You can still be truly wireless. So if you have batteries and you're looking for a new machine, that may also be a plus for you because of that RCA connector. Overall though, let's get into the wrapping now and the testy performance as I'm very eager to see how this performs. One of the main reasons why I love the pen style tattoo machines is because they are easy to wrap. I'm going to use this little blue barrier film that you see me use often to wrap my tattoo machines. It's rather lengthy, longer than the machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just literally put the machine in there like so. And as you can see, we now have a barrier around the entire machine. I'm also able to turn the grip. However, let's say you didn't like that approach. You didn't have to wrap, you don't have to wrap it like that. You can actually remove the grip prior to wrapping. Then you could just slide the machine in like so. Same way we, as we did before. However, the only difference now is 
we can make a hole right here and kind of pull this up. So as you see, there's a little hole right there. And then what I'm gonna start doing is I'm just gonna start pulling this back like so. Putting a wrap around and I'm gonna leave it right around there. And then you can simply put this piece on like so. And from here, you can go ahead and choose to put another plastic barrier around here. You can use saran wrap if you want, whatever the choice may be, or whatever you want to use on your end. In this instance, we'll go ahead and use saran wrap. The reason I'm personally going to go with saran wrap is so that way I can easily navigate my needle depth during the session because if I'm going to be switching from mags to round liners, chances of me needing to change the depth on the fly is going to be great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab adhesive wrap even prior to putting the plastic barrier over it so that way when i do put the plastic barrier we have a grip to turn off of because over the time the plastic will start sliding on the metal here giving us more of an issue and then you can also do the same thing you can even get like this adhesive and wrap it around right here so that way this doesn't go anywhere you can wrap it over the buttons as you kind of can tell where the um, voltage is going to be so that way this holds your plastic in place. You can do this if you want, this top part's optional. And then you could just tie, like literally just tie this into a knot. And then the saran wrap is gonna go on this edge because there's no barrier yet. We just have a wrapping here for grip. That's all that that's doing. We're gonna get the saran wrap right here. And then this is going to be our plastic barrier. You still need the barrier. Um, don't misconstrue the grip for a barrier. Uh, the adhesive wraps that we wrap around our gear are not barriers. So as you see, I'm placing that like so. And then I'm going to cut this off. I know that's a lot of excess right there, so I'm just going to grab this. And then wrap the rest as much as I can around the grip right here like so. Just to put as much plastic as we can. Then now, I still have full access to be able to churn my machine and it's uh, covered with a plastic barrier now. So this is pretty much how I'm going to wrap this. And then up here, I'm going to go like this. And then from here, you can just simply cut that part off and we are now ready to rock. That's exactly how I am gonna go about wrapping my machine. Very straightforward, very simple process. For those who are wondering, you could just turn it on, holding that down, you're good to go. You need to go down in voltage, feel free. You need to go up by all means. As you see, very simple, no issues at all, very straightforward. But we got a full plastic wrapping with adjustability ready to go. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test out the performance of this Bronk Hummingbird Rotary Tattoo Machine. We're going to test it out using this little tattoo right here. We're going to run some lines and just kind of get a feel for it. And I'll also pack some black on camera with this mag so we can see what this machine is fully capable of. For this tattoo, I'm going to go with the 007 round liner long taper. So that way we can just get an idea of how this machine pulls the lines. I will bring you up close as well here shortly. Simply pop a hole in there. You don't have to really move it around with the needle tip. You can just simply pop the hole and then turn it around, place it in like so. Very simple, very easy. So there's definitely a lot of give on this machine and for those who have been subscribed to me would know that I like for my machine to have some give so that way it's not just so spot on if I'm correct. Like it's not just hitting so hard, risking potential blowouts. Overall though, the way that it lines right now, it, it's uh, lining great. It's not bad for lining. It's definitely a softer hit. So if you're looking for a softer hitting machine, so it may be worth checking out and or investing into. Doesn't hit as hard as I nearly thought it would. The purple needles though, these big wasp needles right here, 
they're growing on me tremendously fast. As you can see though, the stability here, like how, how small that tubing comes into right here, that right there provides um, a lot of stability in my opinion. It's very, very stable needle. Let me do this last line and I'm gonna switch the angle and bring you up close here so you can see the machine in its entirety. So allow me to bring you up close. So as you see though, that needle there is very consistent. And so is the machine. The machine, the Bronx Wireless Hummingbird machine is performing very, very low vibrations as well. That was my fault. I should have pulled out and stretched the skin more. So far, so consistent. I don't really have any complaints. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save all of these little details for that one round liner. That's what I'm gonna do. So we'll go ahead and be able to test that out. I'll just flip the skin over and test out that round mag so we can pack black at the end. So right now I'm running at eight volts right here. And I'm actually liking the way this machine is performing. If there is any adversities, you all would see it and I would report it to you here live, real time, but So far, so smooth. I'm not gonna bore you all with a whole bunch of talking as you can kind of just watch and really see the performance for yourself of the Bronx tattoo machine here. So, so far I personally love the machine. The machine's nice. The machine itself is nice. It's soft hitting, low vibration. This needle though, the needles paired with this machine, this is a nice combo. This is a very nice setup too. Uh, a lot of stability here in this, in this setup. So this is the one round liner as you see right here. Super, super easy to blow these lines out. tip like I'm not even putting any pressure down on here upon applying the one row liner
part there, I think I went a little too deep. I'm getting used to using the one round liner, but as you can see though, it's definitely doing work here. can really see how thin this needle is and how easy it is to blow this out. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more here, show you all one more time. You can see right here, very nice, fine, fine, fine point. Let me see if I can blow it out here. And you can see right there, we're slicing the skin already. It's way too deep. I know that you really can't tell, but when you're using that small of a needle configuration, you can see it going in. Do a couple more lines here with this one round liner. You can see you can get real real tiny once you develop the expertise and technicality to use the one round liner here and this is my first time using a one round liner this is something that i want to work on more This is not something that I would go and use on human skin, not even today or even the next couple of months. This isn't a needle that I would use on human skin as of yet. Again, just because it takes a certain level of expertise to pull this off correctly without damaging the skin. But as you can see, we, we get real, real tiny. Look how tiny that little flower is compared to the needle size overall. Very, very tiny, very, very fine needle. I do feel like this machine does perform on multiple fronts, but not only that, those um, Big Wasp purple needles, those are awesome. I'm loving these needles. These are a fantastic needle. Allow me to end out the video by packing some black here so that we can just kind of see how it packs black as well. Since it is a softer hitting machine, I'm going to be using that 25 round mag as you can see right here. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. I'm packing at 7.5 and as you can see though I do feel like a lot of this is going to come down to your application and how you apply and pack black but the machine is certainly capable of packing black as well. As you can see so we're getting nice solid saturated black and I'm using little to no effort to get it that solid and that saturated. I'm just moving at a steady pace here, as you see. And you can see the tips of the needles working there. The Big Wasp Purple Needles combined with this Bronx Wireless Hummingbird Rotary Machine is a nice uh, duo. Let me show you here. So as you see, very nice, solid and saturated. We can do a little better right here, but you know, nice demonstration there. What I would like to do is I'm gonna drop this down to five volts around there. And I'm gonna just try a little bit of stippling to see if we can get like a nice peppered look, even with this mag right here. So let's just check that out real quick.
I felt confident that it would stipple just fine simply because of that softer hitting hit. But I couldn't be too short. As you see though, we're getting some nice dot work even with this mag right here. So if this was a three round liner, then we'd be achieving some really nice results. Use the side of the mag. So you can see right there though, that it is leaving us with that dotted effect there, which is something that I was looking for because I like that textured look within some of my tattoos. I need to have access to a machine that is able to apply this textured look by simply lowering the voltage. The bronc checks out on that. Okay, so all in all, after this mild demonstration, I really do feel that this illustrates the potential and capabilities of this machine from lining to packing to giving us, you know, textured look, pushing smaller configurations as well. So I'm sure that we can stipple with this machine. I'm sure that we can pull lines. I'm sure that it can pack black and do everything on the fly. So you can use just this one machine for an entire tattoo session, should you choose to do so. Even if you're needing to do lining and shading, as you can see, it did everything with each here is some lining I am going to finish the tattoo with this machine I just didn't want to do that on camera and hold you all up too long I want to be thorough and really demonstrate and illustrate the capabilities and potential of this machine right here all in all I do feel like this is a great machine and for various reasons uh, it is a wireless machine but not only that it does come with the RCA adapter so that way you can run third-party wireless power supplies that you may have or standard power supplies as well you will always have the option to use this machine in any session whether the battery dies or not choice is yours which is a great um, feature it comes with two batteries with a easy setup i've never really seen that uh, type of battery setup i'm not really against it um, i'm not for it either so it's kind of just you know i'm neutral about the battery um capabilities you know how we have to screw this off and put it on so that's kind of one of the only things i won't give it a five stars because of the battery setup it would have been nicer to have implemented the battery in here and then have two of these maybe um two weeks to row and everything is different so i would give it a thumbs up and a four stars because of that i give it a thumbs up and a four stars because it does perform it is a nice machine to utilize within lining shading packing so it is all around a versatile machine easy to adjust depth on the fly voltage range is dynamic and uh, i think it'd be good for any sort of a tattoo artist you don't need to be a beginner or a professional to use this it is great for beginners and or full-blown professionals and everything in between so that's another plus here but again if you're on the market looking for one be sure to check this out it may suit your needs on your end in which i will leave links in the description below for you now, if I didn't touch base on anything specific or if you have any questions about this specific machine that you saw throughout this video, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. If you're not, I do have social medias all under the same name at Daniel Yuck. I would genuinely appreciate the support. It's the same name as my YouTube channel, D-A-N-I-E-L-Y-U-C-K. Yet again, I would genuinely appreciate the support on there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for me as I'm going to be bringing you all more videos like this. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.